Anyway, for now it's Olivier, and today I've got 10 gadgets for you that might help you with your work. So, I love gadgets already, but whenever I work, I'm always trying to go as fast as I can and do the best job possible. Because when things start to drag, then obviously you don't do the best job, you get annoyed, whatever. So I like to work quickly. And people know me, know that I paint quickly. But sometimes it's thanks to those gadgets. So I've got 10 here and I'm going to tell you what they're for. So basically, I'm not going to talk about this stuff. This is um, your typical battery, uh, battery bank, you know, the, to charge your phone or whatever. They're super useful, definitely have them, but that's obvious. I'm not going to talk about that. Not even going to talk about this really cool JBL speaker, uh, USB-C, um, super loud enough. I guess the bass, obviously, it's okay, but it's tiny. So those things are really cool. Now, what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to start with the most boring, and that's, so not, nothing is sponsored, obviously. The first one is Snapseed. Uh, Snapseed is what I use when I do my doodle grid, but also when I'm retouching my videos, my, my pictures. Um, it's a really good tool. It's kind of like Instagram for retouching, but better, and it's got way more things. Um, you know, you can change the shadows, highlights uh, of only one section of an image, not the whole thing. It, it's really re useful. So gadget number one, going to give it to Snapseed. We've got to keep remembering to look at the camera here, not the screen, but it's just, you know. Okay, number one, Snapseed. Number two, we're going to go with this one. So this is uh, something I got in uh, Leyland, a shop in the UK that I like so much. Um, and this thing is absolutely brilliant. Let me see. So, how this works is when you've got a brand new roller and you, you finish painting, whatever, instead of having to put it in the, in the bag, because what you want to do is uh, get rid of the oxygen, not have any oxygen so the paint doesn't dry. Normally, over the years, what I would have done is just put a plastic bag, but there's always a little hole and then, you know, it becomes useless and it goes everywhere, so it's a, a, a bit of a mess. This thing is brilliant. It's made of rubber. There's a bit of plastic as well. Put that in there. Put that on top. And then it gives you a really good seal. And that is spot on. I used, this is a new one. I got it just for this video, but I'm definitely going to use it for uh, the workshop. Um, when I'm in the street, I use a slightly darker gray. I want to be of a lighter gray for here. So this is going to be perfect. The road trip I did in uh, Scotland last three weeks ago or something, I used this, only one, and the roller didn't dry up at all. So this thing, super cool. I don't know what it would be called if you were to look, it, look for it online, but I guess rubber, sleeve, protector, 3000, <laughs> get one of those, those things are really cool. If you're in the UK, obviously go to Leyland and um, get one of them. Projector. So all artists, uh, mural artists have a projector. I don't think people still have an issue about a projector. If you are, then whatever, but to be honest, Use whatever tool works for you. Um, as an artist, uh, off limits, <laughs> I just use whatever tool I can. Um, this is a really good projector I've had for a long time. It cost me 200 pounds. You can't get those anymore. You can get similar ones. Um, I've got another one at home. The only thing is it's so good. Uh, it's also got Android, so you can watch like Amazon Prime and whatever. So I'm using it more as a TV, like massive, literally this entire wall could be filled from about four meters so it's really good um, but you get different ones and this one's got a battery which is very useful on the job the thing is i got caught out before and the battery works but then eventually you know it just runs out mid tracing so that's annoying that's 480 480p quality um, you can get some that are 1080p the one i've got at home is 1080p um, there's an increase in quality when you're projecting an image. You, your, your black lines around whatever you're tracing, they're a lot thinner and cleaner. So 1080p is really good, but if not, you get one of those uh, portable, really good. They got all kinds of like USB and um, um, micro SD card attachment, whatever. You don't need to, I mean, before when I started this, I used to have to have my laptop, um, an extension lead, the projector, a tripod, blah, 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 a full suitcase just to project an image. Now, I can literally turn this on. There's an SD card in there. 
actually that's how I traced my logo and I'm gonna let that boot and I'll show you in a minute how that works. Um, okay, number four, we're gonna go with this. So this is a, a massive phone that I got. I like small phones, but I got a, a so I've got two. I've got this one uh, for tracing. This one's called, is by Ukitel, weird name, and it's seven inches. And the battery in this thing, I haven't used it in two weeks and the battery is still no problem, you know, working fine. So whenever you're tracing an image, you've got a really nice big display to work with. This one was 200 pounds, uh, including the, the protective thing, whatever. Got it on Amazon. Um, this for tracing is perfect. I've got a, <clears throat> I've got a small tablet, which is eight, I think, no, uh, is it eight inches? Oh, oh yeah, it must be. So that's eight inches. The battery's always low on this one. Eight inches, seven inches. When I'm painting, I've got big hands, but this is, it's not comfortable. I find this for painting, it's super, super useful. Um, and it's bigger than my phone, so it's, it's more, it's more better. So number four, we're gonna go with the phone. So just to show you this thing. So this is cool, because it's actually got a, a mouse pad. But don't ask me, because you can't get those anymore. <laughs> but you can get similar ones. So like in this case, I've got my logo. And this is how I projected it. Obviously, I was all the way back there. So portable projector with a battery, definitely a good one. Okay, what are we on now? One, two, three, four, five, maybe? Five, uh, we're gonna go with camera. Obviously, you're gonna have a camera, but I'm gonna tell you which camera. So this is the one I'm using. It's um, Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1. It's the best. Um, some of you know I used to be a photographer and I had um, uh, a7 III, a7R Mark III with crazy lenses or whatever. That's better. Whenever, whenever you're doing this kind of vlogging, whatever, you need something that's going to be able to track your face. So this, on, stop looking at the screen. So this I can just touch my face and no matter how, where I'm in the room, it's going to focus on my face. Way more expensive cameras struggle with this massively. The sound, everything on this while well, I'm using a mic, but this is a really good camera. So if you're looking for a camera to take pictures of, good pictures of your work, uh, ZV-1 by Sony, highly recommend. Um, Ace uh, RX100 uh, Mark III or Mark IV upwards, really, really good as well. Um, not as good for vlogging because they don't have a microphone thingy, but those are really cool. Don't just take pictures with your phone, um, you don't get the best results. If you want to do prints in the future, it's best to always take a good picture with your phone. You paint in the street, people are going to paint over you, that's the name of the game. Um, sorry about the squeak. Um, you, want a, you want a good uh, picture, so your phone for printing is not the best. I also use the um, GoPro 9, which is a really good camera. Uh, the, Audio from the, the, the GoPro is spot on, but GoPro overall is glitchy. Sometimes you have to take the battery out, there's loads of... Um, I can only record on certain formats, because when I put it on um, uh, Premiere Element, it just bugs out, unless I record in 4K, even if those, pictures, if those videos are in 1080p, it just bugs out. So GoPro is really good, but it's super glitchy at the same time, so good and bad. This, this camera, spot on. Next, this is going to be the video for next week. This is a EDC or Everyday Carry and I've got maybe three or four uh, of those that I keep in different bags and this I saved my bacon many times. It's all kinds of different gadgets that I use when I'm uh, out painting, working, um, so those are really cool but it deserves a video on its own so next week I'm going to dig into what's in there. This you should definitely have. So I used to, this is a, a, um, a paint book or swatch book, and this one is by um, uh, Montana. So it's got MTN94 and MTN Hardcore. So it's got Hardcore on this side and 94 on this side. 
whether you're using spray cans, whether you're using uh, emulsion or latex or whatever paint, it's really good to have um, a, a swatch book because you get to match your colors, you get to get an idea, you get to, um, when you go to your clients and you're discussing colors, it's always good to, you know, have some kind of thing. You don't have to buy one, you can get like a, like a sample thingy, but sometimes they're, they're a bit limited and it does look good when you go to your client and, you know, they're trying to find a color. So that's, that's really cool. Uh, for those of you that only use spray cans, highly recommend using one of those. Um, so this is uh, 94, obviously my favorite, but you can get one from uh, Montana Gold. You can get one from uh, Belton. I don't know if the others do it, but I know definitely Belton and 94 uh, make one. So um, get one of those. It's really good when you're matching your colors on a job or before a job. You can tell the client, well, listen, I've got this, I've got that. You know, they can choose. That's a really good one to have. This is a laser, a giant laser, and super useful. So when I'm doing carpentry or props, like one of the many things I do, I use this a lot. But also when I'm tracing, actually when I trace this logo, the tagline, this tagline here, I wanted it to be really straight. So I put this on, a, it's got a tripod mount. I put it on a tripod and then make sure everything was uh, straight. I use a traditional small level sometimes, uh, but most of the time I will use this. This, once you use this, it's so cool. They don't cost that much. You get them for like 40 quid. I used to have a Stanley, but it was red. This one is green. I much prefer the green. You see it better outside. Definitely big one. And now I keep my favorite for last. This one, I think what, number nine, is a power bank, like those kind of things. I always get USB-C, but, you know, because my phones are USB-C, for you iPhone people. Um, this is really cool. This is an AC power bank, so you can plug things in. So this has got like um, the UK plug. You can get one with a different thingy. And actually, when you buy this, it comes with an adapter. It's also got a USB-A, USB-C and uh, it tells you how much is left. You can get different types. Uh, I've got another one that's a bit bigger, but I find this one is small and it's, it's perfect. Why would you want this? So when I'm using the projector and I'm on a job, most projectors will work, um, will be brighter, this one especially, when they're plugged in. And as opposed to having to, to rely on, on um, an extension lead, an extension cord, and then trying to find a socket and all that stuff. I find it a lot easier to plug uh, this into this and then it's just no drama. It's not gonna power your lawnmower, but it's, uh, cause I think it's about 100 watts, maybe. Uh, this one's 65 watts. The other, one, uh, the other one I've got is 100 watts. Uh, that's gonna do all your gadgets, all your USB gadgets. That's gonna run them, but also obviously your, that could run a printer, a laptop, a projector. A camera, if you got LED lights, it's gonna power that, no problem. So this thing is really, really useful. And last but not least, my favorite gadget of all that I've had for probably going on four years is this thing. So this is absolutely brilliant. So that's my ladder. It goes to three meter 20 and it goes down to hardly anything. That's the size of it. It's um, definitely a workout when I'm going to somewhere far or whatever, but because I'm in London and I'm taking the tube everywhere I go, this is super useful. I used to have a car, but most of my jobs are inside um, congestion zone and there's nowhere to park. So now I either take a taxi or I'll take the tube, it's just better. So having a ladder like this is super useful. At first I wasn't sure, I was like, uh, that looks flimsy, uh, you know, I don't know if it's going to work, but it's done me super well. I bought it on eBay for like 40 quid ages ago, don't ask me from who. Um, they've gone up in price massively, literally like a month after or something, but it's um, super cool. Again, it's a bit on the heavy side. You can also get some of those that are like a stepladder, so they're even heavier. 
Um, but uh, that is definitely an investment that I would highly recommend. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching my gadget video. I will see you next week when I'm diving into this and also plenty more videos about painting. I've got a busy schedule. 